So what is HODL and what is HOLD? That's going to be the question I'm going to be talking about in this video. Now, I'm making this video because this was a question that I personally had every time in the beginning when I was starting to invest in cryptocurrency. And at first, I was like, why is people misspelling HOLD? It's HOLD, not HODL. Eventually, I started to notice way too many people talking like this, and I was like, nope, this must be an actual word, or at least uh, it stands for something. And so this video is going to explain that. So again, I know that this may drive some English teachers kind of crazy because, you know, the D and the L are kind of backwards. But again, it's, it's actually pretty clear once, once we get to it. So HODL really stands for hold on for dear life. It's simply an acronym. And believe it or not, it's classified as a trading uh, strategy. So in the crypto world, I've learned that there's three strategies when investing in crypto. So there's HODL, you trade or you stake. So these are the three main trading strategies. Now, imagine buying three Bitcoins and or not three Bitcoins, but let's say, well, yeah, let's say you have a lot of money and you're buying three Bitcoins three weeks ago. So you bought them at sixty five thousand dollars and now they dropped over 40 percent worth in value. You pretty much if your hodl, if your strategy is hodl, you're going to try to hold on for dear life with these Bitcoins. You're not going to sell even though you're 40 percent down. Normally, a regular rational investor at 10 percent, 15 percent, he'll be like, I'll cut my losses and I'm exiting. Uh, but with the hodl strategy, you, you don't you don't sell. Now, however, this doesn't apply only when it's going down. The hodl strategy doesn't just apply when it's, you know, you buy high and then it drops. And it also applies when it's going up. Imagine if you're the same guy who got lucky enough to get into buying three Bitcoins, but instead of $65,000, you're buying them for $200 back in 2011 or 2010 or whatever. Well, the HODL strategy, you know, once it's starting going to 10000 or 5000 10000 15000 $20,000, you're pressured to saying, oh my gosh, should I sell? And so the HODL strategy applies to this as well. You don't. You hold on for dear life. And that's why we see so many people recently now with Dogecoin, uh, you know, losing out on millions of dollars where, you know, we got the Doge father that had like almost $3 million worth of Dogecoin and he refused to sell and now he's lost probably like two million dollars but that's because their strategy is hodl you know you hodl you hold on for your life because you have something more you see something greater towards the future now to briefly talk about the other two strategies i don't want to leave you guys hanging with what's trading and staking uh trading is simply what it sounds like you simply buy and sell actively uh trying to buy in the lower and then sell in the higher. Uh, not a very big fan myself because I've lost thousands of dollars in trading, but if done right, you can actually make some good money and pretty fast. Now, finally, my favorite type of uh, investing tra strategy right now in cryptocurrency is staking. Now take for example, crypto.com, and I'll be showing you guys here a bit, um, the, the picture or the website. You can actually be earning up to 12%, uh, well, they say 14%, but realistically I'll put 12% a year or you know pretty much an interest on investments or money that you have so the best savings account out there right now with the current pandemic and all that stuff it's probably paying you no more than two percent uh, this one's coming here and paying you 12 percent. that's almost five times bigger higher and it's safe because you have to stake it in normally usd coin so stable coin um, or any other more stable bitcoins or, or you know ethereum all those they pay higher interest so you know normally this is much more lower risk it's a good return and compared to a traditional savings account definitely something better to consider so there you guys have it a quick short hopefully entertaining video of what's the difference between hodl and hold again it's not someone misspelling the hold word even though that's what i thought in the beginning but I thought that I should make a video out of this and I'll be making more videos like these uh, with common misconceptions about cryptocurrency because I'm starting to get, understand it and learn it. And so I want to share some of these uh, common misconceptions that, you know, I have when I just started. So again, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, smash it and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.